what's up guys good morning um let's just call today weber wednesday um it's it's early morning uh you can probably tell by the way i look i just had a cup of coffee not looking my best but anyway um if you look at this it's about i don't know 35 degrees out here you know and a lot of you guys are having trouble with your carburetor and saying that uh you know these trucks are cold natured and whatnot so i wanted to show you what i did <clears throat> with the choke to make it really not so cold natured um so let's get started real quick i'm gonna pop the hood uh what i need to do by the way i need to move this truck hadn't been cranked all morning i need to move it put it in the garage move that truck out so that i can take the dash out of this one over the next day or so and do the heater core so uh, just had the window put in it uh, let's see here let's pop the hood just had the window put in yesterday and hadn't quite finished doing some things okay so got my uh just you know to make sure you you're we're all on the same page here has not been cranked the engine the headers are like 37 degrees intake is 36 she has not been cranked so i'm gonna sit this back over here and i wanted to explain some things so i'm gonna try to do this one-handed she's pop this stuff off and just move it out of the way Okay, so we hadn't cranked, we have not crunk it yet. So this is what generally happens. I want to go over just a little bit. Without taking this off, I may can show you on another carb outside uh, in the shop. But there, this is your electronic choke, and there is a cam in there, and it's a two-stage little cam. First thing you're going to do, you know, you when it's set properly, and we'll get, we'll go over that. You go inside and you pat it one good time. Now what that did, it shot a little gas in there and of course it closed off the choke plates. The tension on them, it's hard to say over the internet, but it's, it's not too strong, but kind of strong. And it's a little stronger than usual because this is, it's cold and this is pretty tight. Um, I have some markings this will probably be different than your carb um, it's hard to say but anyways right now of course you have to have this hooked up to your the back of your alternator um, some hook this up to 12 volt which is what it what it says it should be hooked to uh, this is actually putting out about seven on the back of the alternator on both trucks I always thought it was putting out 12 but it's not um, and I think it's fine because any if it is hooked up to 12 volt it's gonna heat it up quicker and it'll probably open too quick probably stall at a red light the way i got it right now it's working fine as you'll see but right now the uh the fast idle which is that screw is on the first lobe of that cam fast idle cam and what's going to happen is i'm going to crank it and it's going to shoot up to about 2000 rpm and it doesn't need to stay there long just needs to stay there for 10 seconds or, or so and then I'm gonna pat it lightly and it's gonna fall to the second cam which is gonna idle at about a thousand and it's gonna sit there comfortably and as it warms up you know and as you can drive it at that you can drive it at the thousand and you can pat it or you can let it sit here in your garage and it'll uh, slowly warm up and you can pat it and it'll get down to about 900 and it'll even warm on up and you can pat it a good goose you know and it'll go down to 850 or so 800 <clears throat> but what's good about it resting on the thousand is it doesn't go from being right at the 2000 rpm straight cold to to just idling and, and it'll go dead at a red light and then everybody says oh it's cold nature do you have to sit there and let it warm up all right so and also what you'll notice as soon as I crank it, this is going to open on its own about an eighth of an inch. 
and then it'll uh we'll, we'll show you let's go ahead so i've already padded it of course i've talked a lot to make it pad it one more time let's see mm. make sure we're in neutral we don't want to run into the other truck right up see I'm gonna let the clutch out give it a little tap just a little tap you see she's at a thousand I'm running good you can see how much it opened up just a little you can let it sit there and run. Get a little loose. So she's resting on that other load. You can already see it's opened up a little bit more to let more air in. So smoother idle. As she warms up, it'll get better. You see, it's 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 opened up a little more, running a little smoother as I gave it some gas, but it's still at about a thousand or so in that second stage of the cam, the fast idle cam. And this would allow me to go ahead and leave. I can go ahead and leave and it can warm up on the road without it going dead at a stoplight or, or stop sign. I'm gonna pause the video, let it continue to run and idle, warm up, and run out to the shop and resume the video and I'll show you what'll come out on the, the cam. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> now this is a uh, Weber clone that I have. Mm. I'm gonna try my best to let the sun be my light. Uh, let's see. All right, so you see the fast idle screw right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a little gas see here yeah the choke plates are closed hmm. what you can see right there is it's resting on that first piece of the cam it's really hard to see you'll probably just have to look at your own uh, but there is I don't know if you can tell there's two lobes on that cam whoops I'm holding one of those weird phone sticks so it's hard to do but you can see where it's sitting on the cam right there and then there's a drop off and it's sort of a sloped off piece of the cam that's how that works now what I did in order to get the idle correct was I just fooled with it a little until when it was on the uh, second stage of the cam it was about a thousand rpm or so and it's setting that kind of took care of the fast idle first part being at about 2,000. So I didn't just go at it idling it up to a thousand. You could, um, and then once you kick it down, you may notice that it's a little higher than a thousand. Maybe it's 11 to 1200 or so. You just have to fiddle with it. But you want the two-stage cam to work for you. You really do. All right, let's go check on the truck. All right. <clears throat> That's not smoke. Everybody gets worried about that. That's condensation. It's cold outside. That's moisture coming out of the tailpipe. Totally fine. Means the engine's running very well.
perfect. Just gave it a little gas. Idle's perfect. She's ready to go. It opens up a little. Ooh, a little needs a little more gas. Yeah. And it's still warming on up, but man, she's ready to go. I hope this helps.